right. We are going to do a quick little, like, 45-minute um, stream to cap things off the end of the night here before we all go back to work on Monday. And uh, so just to bring you up to speed, uh, we were successful in our crusade for Jerusalem. We then retook the Duchy of Ascalon from Cyprus, who looks like they now belong to the Seljuk Turks. So good call, good times for them. Uh, there is a revolution ongoing in Egypt, and we took Sinai from the revolt, and then immediately, uh, thank you to who provided this advice, was it Fizzabum? Fizzabum? Uh, immediately then took uh, the Hijaz and uh, dropped the moral authority of Shia down to 33, and of Sunni down to zero. So uh, Sunni moral authority is in the toilet and Shia moral authority is in the toilet as well. Meanwhile, Catholic moral authority is sitting at 100. So, you know, good times there. One saint. is hoping to get sainted, but we'll see. Um, but we are working towards our empire of the Ultramare. And uh, we'll see how that works along. Uh, we have a, s a couple fun things going on here. Number one, we also happen to own essentially all of England, or most of England. That would be my vassal duchess here, Duchess the Rash of Mercia. She wants to marry a ruler, uh, but uh, it's not going to happen. She's got cancer, and is possessed, and is highly suspicious, so I'm guessing she's a devil worshiper, but uh, we'll see. I don't necessarily have cause to arrest her yet, and she's just chilling here in the uh, middle of England. So that's what we got going on right now. Uh, again, looking to create the Empire of the Ultramar. Uh, small succession problem. My wife is the Countess of Artois, and uh, uh, she, up until, well, up until just recently, all of our children, uh, my daughter died of great pox, that's a bummer. Uh, the nun, yeah, good times. All of our children have been in her court. So uh, I have been lately finding myself some lovers and working on having some bastards. Uh, my son and heir is in a matrilineal marriage with this lady, and his only son is not of my dynasty. So it's a slight problem here. So I'm working on having this lady killed. Um, I'm currently at 135% there, so everybody who can be on board is on board. And then once that happens, I will find a new and better wife for him. Uh, and will not put him in a matrilineal marriage. If I could only get him to come to my court, it would be wonderful. Uh, but once I have his uh, wife murdered, we'll see what we can do there. So obviously, I need to, in order to create the Empire of the Ultramar, uh, I need to expand out to take the entire like Near East region. So... Near East encompasses everything here in the Arabian Peninsula. So I'm on my way, uh, but I also have to take all of Syria, Al Jazeera, Iraq, Yemen, uh, and the rest of Arabia as well. So this is what lies ahead of us here before we can take the decision to form the Empire of the Ultramar. Uh, is this... So Kotra, I do not believe, is included in that, even though they're part of the Dejur Kingdom of Yemen. So I have a peace treaty with this guy, so I do not have the ability to attack him. I have a peace treaty with this guy, so I don't have the ability to attack him. My next logical target is the Turks, but they, they have 33,000 troops here. And uh, I do not have anywhere close to that. I have, you know, 14,000 if I get all charged up to full. So at the moment, uh, not anywhere close, so we're just gonna bide our time. Hopefully, uh, murder my daughter-in-law, and now uh, wait to see how things settle out in Egypt. This dude is part of the current epidemic. Uh, he definitely has camp fever. Um, throw him out. Let's see my Let's see this little girl. That's not my actual spy master, is it? No, this dude's my spy master. Okay, I'm my eunuch. I can rank up in my society, my Dominican order, so I'm going to be up to commission.
Odysseus. Lower fertility, but uh, reduce temple build cost, and I can teach virtues. That's pretty nice. My daughter wants to be. So we do we allow her to be erudite, or do we force kind on her? Go for kind if we can. Perfect. Let's see how we're going with this. All right, next rank up. Is this uh, the genius gay lady? Throw her out. I invited her because I was hoping to seduce her, but I forgot that since she's gay, I don't have the ability to do that. The Knights Templar. Um, can I vassalize these guys? Uh, let's see. Maybe by decision. I can only have one holy order vassalized at a time. So does he have any actual land yet? He does not. Now he does. So, where is his one? Millsboro up in York. Well, theoretically, okay, I could invite him to build a hospital. What does that take? Hospital to care for the people of Jerusalem. Lose 300 piety. Establish the barony and a hospital. So he will get a barony in Jerusalem and a hospital. So, I am tempted to do that. That makes sense. For 300 piety, I definitely have that. Yeah, perfect. So now Jerusalem has a hospital. And still not my du jour liege, even though he has territory within mine. Small difference in rank. Foreign culture. That's not going to help me, I don't think. Nope. Yeah, but at least we now have a hospital I'd have to pay for. Alright. Go ahead is uh, X Communication lifted. Let's see here. And let's make Mr. Seljuk here a character of special interest. Let's see where we go with that. Alright. And my lover is pregnant with my child. Excellent. Who knows? Maybe it'll be a genius boy. Not that I uh, wake him up. Nothing of it, friend. Uh oh, I have a rash. Thinks I have camp fever. Let's see what we can do about that. His treatment did not work, so can we switch out of this yet? I only just started here, but I have all the lovers I need. But if we switch, we can switch to theology, or we can switch to hunting. I think we should go with hunting. We'll get plus two marshals so that I increase my troop count, and then I get the plus one health that I'm looking for as well. So switch to hunting focus here. Ownership of Lighthouse of Alexandria has transferred. Caliph Mufazar Adin to Hanri. Okay, so Hanri, I have a peace treaty with you. Mufaraz Adin, I have it with you. Just turned 16. Alright, I don't know why that was just transferred now. Maybe it had to do with him reaching adulthood. Seek treatment for illness. Yes, let's try again, shall we? And I have a commander slot open. So we will go ahead and open up. I have nobody worth uh, while here. So we say we're looking for men. Uh, um, we'll join the court and sort by combat score. So this dude keeps showing up. Let's go ahead and invite him. Might as well. We talked about him once. Galatia, he's uh, he's there. Marshal. So I think they have the bubonic plague now. Alright, well at least whatever he assigned me to worked. I got one health, so this will be my commander. I did get camp fever after all, so it's not the plague, it's just camp fever. Alright, health minus four. But I have plus one from this, and I have plus one from successful treatment. And it's only mild, so I got another plus one. So I'm at what, plus three? And so I'm at minus one net right now. another plus two, so I should survive camp fever. Excellent. I'm hoping to be sainted if I can help it here. Alright, my daughter now has chest pains, but that's alright. We're going to marry her off anyways to my duke down there. Duke Roger. I just picked at random the Catalan guy. He's a good Catholic, and he's quick and shrewd, which is a nice double up for really excellent stats. So, good 
good stuff here. And so war happening here. Declared mercy and claim on Essex on King of England. So excellent. Looks like we're about to expand our realm uh, through no input of our own, but that's great. If I can take Kingdom of England, I will do that. <coughs> All right, this dude died of poor health. That's fine. So again, right now, what is the order? So who's my Fatimid Revolt is next. Okay, interesting. Another commander slot open. Again, nobody worthwhile. Let's see who's gonna be next on the list. This old guy, he's possessed. This dude would be much better. 35, strong. Happily take that, thank you very much. Excellent, you will make an excellent commander. Why would I order him to take the vows? Ah, son was born to achieve the cowardly. Excellent, so this is my son. I will acknowledge him as mine. I can legitimize him later if I need to. So do I lose charity or gain stressed? So charitable gives me diplomacy, church opinion. Stressed is a bummer. I'll lose charitable instead. I can always gain it back if I need to. Still arbitrary. Alright, so now we have a Zoroastrian revolt. So those guys are busy fighting Zoroastrians. But that is okay. You know, they will win. I do have extra powerful revolts turned on. Hey, Nick, Fatimid looks like a juicy target. Yes, the Fatimids are a juicy target, but I currently have peace treaties with both of them. So they're busy and embroiled in their own little war, uh, but both the revolt and the main guys, whoever wins, I have a treaty with both of them till 1126. So in either case, 1126, 1127, can't do much. High House of Alexandria, Castle of the Fave, Knights Templar. Okay. So again, this like ownership of this thing keeps being transferred back and forth between these guys. I don't know what the deal is. Sultanate of Sistan. So we created a new kingdom of Sistan over there. But uh, in any case, we have to wait until this takes over, uh, finishes. This will not trigger. Do we still have Camp Fever here? We do. Major Camp Fever problem. So we're gonna wait until Camp Fever dies down. Okay, so Jerusalem no longer has camp fever problems. It won't come back anytime soon. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the gates. And there you go. So now I can set an ambition to see the realm prosper just for this sort of reduce, uh, reduced revolt chance. And now that I am, let's see, my marshal thank Jesus to gain piety or honor him? Does he already love me a whole bunch? A decent amount, but he can love me more. We'll honor him. Uh, and let's marry him off to somebody. Let's see here. Who do we have? We'll marry him to uh, Princess of England? No, I don't think so. Uh, he just needs somebody. Lowborn. Anyone. Uh, this is my lover. I'm not going to marry him to her. About this rando chick from Mercia. Perfect. Fulfill his wish to be married. Awesome. Way to go, buddy. Be awesome. Alright, my bastard daughter is gaining some skills. So this is the nice part about the Benedictine order that I'm in. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. The Knights Templar asked for your help in the Holy War against the infidels to assist in our struggle. We want to have us. Build a castle in the county of Acre. So gain a hundred piety. And give them. They want to build a new castle. Let's see. Yes, that's fine. Castle of Arleth and Acre. All right, these dinglings here again. I probably can't vassalize them. Nope. Once I become an emperor, I'll have the ability to do that, but right now he's still not into it. 
really am a good Christian. I gain prestige and piety. Excellent. Rufi heresies. Okay, so this is when we're going to start to see Islamic heresies kicking up all over the place. Harufi, Druze, uh, Zikri, their moral authority is like so miserable that uh, they can't do crap about it. So let's see what happens here. Uh, that guy converted to Sunni. What we got going on? Alodia, these guys are doing their thing down here. And can I just please murder my freaking daughter-in-law? What is going on here? Go on a grand hunt. Go find the white lion. Desperately need to kill my daughter-in-law. I'm gonna kill this thing myself. What is going on with the daughter-in-law? We'll get one more person in on the plot. Did I get injured? I still have camp fever. I gotta get over this whole camp fever thing. Proud of my hunting. All right, awesome. I still need the uh, achievement for being successful in a great hunt. I have yet to do that. Get a steward. Duke of Hijaz is one of my... Shoot. Uh, I'm going to have to lose him as a commander. Alright, Roger. That's it, man. You're just going to have to collect taxes in Jerusalem for me instead, which means I need a new commander. So I'm going to resign you as commander because you're going to be busy doing that. And then I will invite... This guy, Heinrich, commander of Hess. I know he's a foreigner, but he will be a new commander for me, sir. It's not the same as Heinrich I banished before for his money, was it? I don't know. There's a previous Heinrich that, based on some wonderful advice I got in Twitch, um, these guys are converting to what? Catholicism? There you go, Swami. Anyways, he had like 600 and something cash and he was plotting, so it's like, oh, I'm gonna arrest you and take care of it. Okay, this lady of Hull, let's go ahead and imprison her. So, ransom her back. Alright, who else? You, do you have any cash? You do not. We're just gonna kill your plot. You, do you have any cash? You have 300. So, can we He's not even in my court. But he'll end his plot, that's fine. You here, you only have six, so we're gonna end your plotting. Uh, who else? You have only three, so we're gonna end your plotting. You, uh, you're not in my court. You, yeah, you're in Suffolk, so we're gonna end your plotting. This is what? It's another chick. She wants to kill the Duchess of Mercia. Ah, I see. The Keeper of Swans. Does she have money? The Rash. No, she does not. This homie here has no money. Cancel. This guy in prison and he took off. Okay. Uh, Maud has no money, so we're going to cancel Maud's plot. Offa will in prison. And then Ransom back. And auto in prison and ransom back for something for gold. So there you go, free plots. Awesome. Problem solved. So how I'm able to yeah, it's fine, sure. I just ransom you. You're about to leave anyways and complain about what conditions you're in. Thank you, thank you. Stop plotting. I got it. Crazy old nun. That dude inherited something. This check here. We're friends. Do I try to hook up with her? She's not into men. We'll just be friends. That'll be fine. Go on a pilgrimage. Excellent. Let's seek treatment for my illness. Where am I losing? Siege of Holly. Who's this? Ah, uh, Raiders. Awesome. Let him do with that. Alright, health is back 
shop and let us go on a pilgrimage. So, okay, I can't vassalize the Knights Templar. I can expel them. Donate to charity, vow of celibacy, search for a smith. On a pilgrimage is healthy enough to travel, so I need to lose my uh, camp fever first, and then I'll be healthy enough to do a pilgrimage. My reputation is ruined. That sucks. More heresies. Interesting that I can go on a grand hunt. Usually that is not allowed if I have any sort of health related trait. I get cheery. That's great. A chancellor, I'll take this guy. We can uh, patch things up with people. Cheery again, which I already have, so nothing special there. Um, yes, supply limit plus one, increase prosperity for a relatively low cost. Let's see, hunting, hunting, tent prestige. could take some of my cash and use it. I lost my spy master. What happened to my spy master? Take this. Oh, he doesn't like me much. Why not? Expelled me from seclusion. Fired me from council. Yeah. We're going to invite somebody else instead. Uh, this guy. He's 50. He likes me plenty. I know he's Irish. Uh, he will be our new Spy master. There he is. The Irishman is our new spy master. There he is. Okay, and he can be keep busy scheming. <coughs> Acquaintance died of smallpox. Well, wow, that is lovely. These guys still he's in jail. So who has him in jail? That means this war should be over soon. My daughter is old enough to be married. Excellent. So, who do we marry her off to? Who's close enough that we can get involved in an alliance? Oh, uh, look, my brother is fighting rebels in France. Why will you not just form an alliance with me? You, you will. Uh, but then I'm going to have to fight this idiot, Benoit Balls, French Revolt. She wants gavel kind. She's winning. That sucks. So, who to marry my daughter to? Hmm. Well, let's wait it out for a little bit. Ah, oh, good. She's not charitable. So it looks like Counts, Dukes, Duke of Sinai, the young Duke of Sinai, the petty King of Damot, the Ethiopians, Makuria, Duke of Toulouse, part of the revolt. Let's see, Duke, Duke of Trebizond, Prince of the Holy Roman Empire, so we could get a non-aggression pact with the Holy Roman Empire. Will he do a matrilineal? No, of course not. Let's see here. Hmm. Do I keep her and use her for bloodline stuff? Like try to bring in a uh, Kaiser Will, uh, yeah, somebody descended of Carl, or what's got going on here? This guy wants to marry her, Basilius of the Byzantine Empire. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip that. Or maybe that wasn't her. Could have been somebody else. Oh boy. Um, I think maybe we'll marry her off to this prince of the Holy Roman Empire. Get the HRE involved over here. That's a pretty powerful alliance. I need to call them up. So he won't do it though. But at least he's in a non-aggression pact. No, he isn't. Okay, so we'll wait until the French uh, revolt is done, and then maybe we'll sign an alliance with France. Knocked up her again. Excellent. She has a bloodline. Oh, very, very kid. Slavics. Good times. We got about 3,000 gold here. We could do a new court physician when well, we need a new court physician. So let's see who we have. This bishop will do just fine. No jester, no tutor, no cupbearer. Okay. Now that I have some cash, let's improve a little bit of what is going on in the domain here. So 
This one needs a training ground. Hebron needs a camera. Stick off that for a little bit here. Beersheb needs some work. Training grounds. Beersheb. Ascalon also needs a training ground. Jaffa. Training grounds. One of these all are new administration. Uh, that's what, 16 years still before that's expired. It'd be nice when that happens, but for now, just build training grounds. All right, down to 1,600 gold. Knocked up my other lover. She's born with two daughters so far. Excellent, you have my blessing. It's to build a castle in Jaffa. Keep it up, man, get powerful. Get powerful. Yeah, keep building prestige and piety. Maybe I can get Bloodline of Alexander, or if not, maybe I can at least be made a saint. Now again, I need to kill off my freaking daughter-in-law. What the hell is going on here? This guy's got nothing, and this guy can't be in prison, so I'll take that. Now he took off. Alright, go on a grand hunt. But what's going on with my plotting here? I'm at 120%. This chick hates me. I need to get her killed. I can't duel her. I can request an excommunication. Oh, let's do that. Then she can be arrested and killed. Okay, cheery again. Yeah, she sucks. Okay, she's not here. She doesn't like me enough. Suffering. Poor horse. Poor glitter hoof. How I hardly knew he. Uh, am I going to go visit uh, my lover here? Yeah, we'll do that. She'll get some extra health. Proud hunter again. Let's see what I have. I can go on another grand hunt. Oh, now it's November, so too late. Didn't catch it quite fast enough. Uh, go hunting right now. Yes, we'll go hunting. That sounds great. Blackmail my vassal. Yeah, that's what I thought. My high almoner. Okay. I have another son. He's Russian and Orthodox. Knowledge is mine. We have somebody new in town. This guy is an Albertoon. Well, Albertoon is not part of our region here. So, I'm tempted to just leave him as is. It's really just the Fatimids and then the Seljuks that uh, are a problem for me. This guy here. Oh, this dude's he's his own thing. I could, uh, I could go for Sanaa. Makes sense. He's only got a couple thousand troops. Yeah, I could go for Sanaa. Makes sense. Rather Shia. Alright, that's it, boys. We're going for Sanaa. Let's see, where is our rally point? We're going to do one rally point here, and... Perfect. And then we're going to do... Boom. Alright, so these guys have made peace. Fatimids are now under this guy here, who, again, I have a peace treaty with, but at least their wars are over. Raise those troops up over here. So, Fatimids are done. This guy is Monophysite Coptic. Hey, converted to Catholic. Excellent. Do the same in Jaffa. Right. Another daughter. My wife must hate me now. Have another ambition. I can build a great work, but I'm not going to do that. My daughter lacks a focus. We will set her on the pride focus. Inherited the Emir 
Pirate of Damietta. Because he uh, executed this guy. Awesome. Sure pissing off his people, I bet. Let's see what happens here. Oh good, finally I'm gonna off my daughter in law. Hopefully. As long as they do their job. Nope. Uh they failed. And finally I'm over camp fever. Alright. So let's head down here and then there. So put myself uh, let's put Wilhelm. Yep. And actually we're gonna put uh Heinrich and then yeah, that's perfect. Alright, somebody has a son. There's this, 45,000 troops? 4,500 maybe? Maybe 4,500, that sounds better. Oh, because these guys are all a part of the same group here. There's the raiders. Got that territory back. Got lucky there. All right, let's head for Najran. I have the supply limit for that, but that's okay. Oh, dude, we're at 75% already. This guy already converted Jaffa. Look at that. It's too early to move my bet. Nope. Perfect. Get to work. Zeke revolt. Who wants to marry this gay courtier? Go for it, dude. Daughter is that one's married. This one is not. Oh, she is married. Oh, that's right to the Holy Roman Empire. Yeah. And my genius lover with gout is once again pregnant. So that's excellent. I farted 20 minutes ago, and you still smell it. Do you think I? You might have. Yeah. By corpse, I would. Uh, I would check. At least check. All right, we're now at 84 percent. Peasants, they're always trouble. Damn peasants. So, one more of Najran. We're at 90. Let's see if he'll accept it. Not quite yet. Alright. So, let's go take this guy. And then we'll come back to Najran. Oh, they're wa wandering off. My daughter, who was married to this idiot and who was burned at the stake, she wants a good name. The fairest of Najran? Is it not? Najran, yeah. The handsome. My daughter doesn't deserve to be handsome. How about the pest? No. I'll lose 50 prestige for that. The fairest. So who are we going to marry her off to? Count of Karak. Duke of this, Duke of that. Passion eggs, no. Uh, Earl of something or other. Nope, 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 nope. No negative. Designated heir of, what is this? Pisa. Um, yeah, there's nobody worthwhile. Yeah, this doesn't help at all. Commander of this, courtier in Chernigov. None of this makes any difference to me. So instead, what I'm going to do, find a decent bloodline. Or as possible inheritance, our titles, our claimants, kill list, bloodlines. There it was. All right, so who is worthwhile? Kumbrat Dulo, Novgorod, Bagrat, Arpad, Magyar tribes, Hungarian opinion. Let's see. Tanistry succession, William the Conqueror. Oh, well, we could do a William the Conqueror. Let's see here. Uh, do we have any just single, young, single men? Descended of William the Conqueror. So you, sir, courtier in Leicester, come to my court. You will. Excellent. I'm going to marry you off to my daughter in a matrilineal marriage. All right. What's his name? Walthjof. So we're going to put you with Wal. 
No, it's not there. Let's do this. Uh, range marriage. Wall. Let's see off. There we go. Awesome. So, now I can't use them right now. But sometime in the future, they will produce someone of my dynasty who I can then marry into. And have that bloodline. I lost temperate. All right. Buildings finishing. Well, let's not risk it, so I'll let everyone know of his cowardice here. It's fine, it's kind of dry. You should name the next king by court. He's going to be the best. Yeah, he probably will. I'm sure he will. Alright, 47 in the city. We're going to kill those guys. Now we're at 98%. Will he take it? He still won't. Take it in the 98. And Sanam. Uh, what do we advise her to do? Um, let's see. Brave for stressed. Get wroth, uh, and I lose kind. Nah, I'm gonna let her learn on her own. She's just a bastard daughter after all. Not good for anything but alliances. All right, make peace. Yeah, usurping this and that and the other thing. All right, now we are also gonna make peace. Ta-da! And I can create the Duchy of Sanam. Now I need to find someone who take that off my hands. So we are gonna go ahead and find a man of my religion who is not currently a ruler. Man is an adult and is a of a great house. And let's see, my marshal who is sixty-eight and now has a baby daughter, but has we'll go ahead he deserves it, right? Doesn't he? That I said a great house. Yes, thank you. Uh, only noblemen, please. Uh, Douglas, one of my commanders, he's got a rocking lisp. He's a big boy, but he's brave and shrewd. This dude's gonna be fine. Yeah. So where is the capital of Sanaa? That would be Sanaa. All right. So you, sir, as a reward for your service, the county of Sanaa is yours, and I will also then grant you the duchy of Sanaa. Your son, then, as oh he's, oh, he's a Scot with a lisp. That's what he is. A Scot with a lisp. Okay, Jerusalem expat. Now, this is the Caliph. 1127. So I have four years to go before I can attack him. Uh, his decadence has dropped significantly, so no opportunities there. This guy is his own mirror. He's got his own thing going on. He's too far away for me to declare war on him. Fatimids are really my best bet here. Uh, what about these guys? Tajrid. These guys got a thing going on. They're another Karmartian Shia heresy. So what Thais would be what we're looking for? Because these guys are independent. I can go after them right afterwards. But I will definitely need Thais. So if I do Holy War for Thais, I can do that, yeah. And then let's set our rally point to Mecca instead. Get everybody down there to Mecca. And I think he's the only one. Learn to achieve the Cowardly, that's his mom. Yeah, the Cowardly. Okay, another bastard son to kill off this freaking daughter-in-law. What is her deal? She's excommunicated in everything. Ugh. Nobody else will kill her. Jesus. All right. Fourth of July is here, so a little save waiting. Troops are on their way. I will definitely take the hunting dog and name him Faithful. And this uh, marriage that's destined, except yeah, because they too are going to produce a halfway decent bloodline, hopefully. Me and my niece, who was baptized by the Pope. Let's see what we can get going here. Somebody had a son, that's awesome. Good for them. Uh, created the title Virbulik of Ankara. We should pick an ambition to create a great work. Yeah, not going to happen. 
not interested in a great work. I mean, I am, but I don't have the cash for it. And, uh, too thin ambition, I can't do anything else. Who is this? Gwynedd, she wants a non-aggression pact. Well, nope. Because, uh, my vassal duchess, or whatever, might declare war on you, and I don't want any issues with that. Anglo-Saxon lady that she is. I have another daughter. Trying to save her, she's sickly. Authority was high enough, I wouldn't have to worry about that. Let's see here. Accepted somebody's peace offer. This dude hates me because I defeated him in war. But you know, that's what you gotta do sometimes. Alright. So here we go. We're gonna take Thais. Wilhelm Andronicus. Wheeled man. Wilhelm has uh, siege powers, and then Heinrich is there too. Yes, crusading. These guys are losing. Oh, look at you converting everybody. That is awesome, man. Keep it up. Oh, not you. There you go. Keep working it. Convert everybody to Catholic. Building training grounds and everything. Great. This guy. Plots and plots. Assassinations. Prison. There you go. Maybe a crusader, but uh, appear to be a devil worshiper or something too, so not into it, man. Lost 172 men. Oh, that is terrible. I have to tell their wives. 62% war score. Caliph, second jihad for Dalem, the king of Georgia. Yeah, not my deal. Luckily, they didn't declare their jihad on me, so. Jerusalemite Waldensian uprising. Where is that? Up here? All 16,000 of them? That is rough. Um, what can I get from her? Nothing. Because her troops all show up down south. So all my troops are up here. So what am I going to have to do here? So let's set up some fleet levies. Hopefully I um, won't have any major issues. Go ahead and raise up my 4,000 knight hospitalier. giant guy. Did he, uh, did he die? Alright, I'll take my Duke of Snow. That'll be fine. Thank you, sir. I'll need then another, uh, another guy. Okay, so what do I do? I need to hire some mercenaries, I think. So we're gonna hire... These guys cost a lot every month. What is my total income? Uh, minus 41 already? Yeesh. I think we're gonna have to hire these dinglings here instead. Let's see if I can get men who will join my court and I'll take this guy. He's relatively young. Troops are going to head to England. 
Excellent. This seventy eight, seventy eight, seventy eight. Oh, so I don't actually get anything for sieging this town. Great, I'll have to head down here instead. Saint Cuthbert. Already related to me, Antioch, Sherson, not Aragon. Yeah, Aragon will work. All right, and then once this war is over, that'll be it for the night. All right, I'll press an ultimatum to the usurper demanding your rule over Aquitaine. Oh, look at that! I get Aquitaine. Wouldn't that be nice? Let's see here. These guys here. I'm gonna give you some cash. Good luck. Pressing my claim. Aquitaine. Would be nice to add to the empire here. Ah, Northumberland. Alright, so here we go. And we now have our demands met. Excellent. We can usurp that title. Thais. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm not gonna ask for help managing my titles. But I'm going to give this guy a thrift education. These guys are going to head back here. Now, the question is, who do we give Thais to? One of my religion who are not already a ruler. And uh, let's say who are not married yet. So this guy, commander of Croatia. Also say that they are from a great house. Commander of Metz, a German. He's got claims on a single barony, but that's about it. And it comes from his grandfather. Is it a county or a barony? In a county. A um, bunch of Germans, man. All right, well, we'll invite him in, and he will become our new vassal. Great, I'm going to grant you Thais. I'm going to grant you the Duchy of Thais. And then I'm going to betroth you to my oldest bastard daughter. I'm not worry about issues from you. These guys, we're going to head all the way up here. Actually, we're just going to head here and I'm going to dissolve you down for the betrothal, huh? Actually, that's just fine. Where are my fleet? Almost there. Yeah, and then we're gonna have to turn around and come back and pick these dinglings up. Alright. Minus 41%. This is a friggin' mess. Okay, so those dudes are there. These guys need to come back and pick up the rest of these dinglings. And uh, based on what time it is, we are going to we have to pick this up at another time. Stupid Waldensians. But uh, I don't have enough troops here, I don't think, to do this. I wonder if I can ask her to join me in this. Who's she fighting against? Mercy and Claim on Essex. Yeah, she's already involved in this war here. Um, transfer, sign guardian, revoke title, give me an artifact, prison. I wish I could tell her to attach her troops over here. This guy's got problems with revolts as well. Camp Fever is up in York now. Alright. We are going to have to pick this up at another time, so thank you everybody for tuning in. It is unfortunately too late for us to continue for tonight, but we are making some serious progress. Next up, the major challenge will be the Seljuk Turks, who luckily uh, their moral authority for Sunni Muslim is down to 0%. You can see they are covered in heresies all over the place. 
Zoroastrians, Zikri, Druze, Shia, all kinds of fun stuff. So these guys are super busy with that. Uh, our moral authority at the meantime is at 100. The Pope likes me a decent amount. Um, and uh, yeah, dude, I am uh, King Baldwin, the Sword of the Blessed Virgin, um, who all historically was also a king of uh, the first king of, of uh, Jerusalem. Oh, and in fact, I have a county here, Poitiers, and the French Revolt is trying to put me uh, on uh, on the, the the crown. They're trying to put me on the, the throne of Aquitaine, so I might gain Aquitaine. And then, of course, we have Central, uh, Central Europe here. So that's super cool. Um, actually, what I'll do is dissolve these guys, and we'll just create a whole new set down here. So do I have the same army rally points? We'll take Mecca and make it Dharam. And Jaffa make it Dharam. And then, same deal. Spending a lot of money every month on mercenaries, but uh, I'll have to dissolve those guys pretty soon here, I think. Alright, but that's going to be it for tonight. So, um, yeah, thanks everybody for tuning in. We've got our holy orders up and running here. Those guys are all going to show up soon. And uh, thanks, everyone, for tuning in. All right. Have a good night.